How you doing? It's Jeff Zimfer. Welcome to this episode of Loan Officer Marketing TV. You know, in this episode, what I decided to launch was um, I wanted to go through kind of step by step my process for quickly and easily capturing real estate agent referrals and relationships. And it's a process that I put together in the uh, ebook and audio, hopefully that you've downloaded by now from this blog. You can see one of the opt-in pages up at the top of this banner uh, on the home page here or wherever you're watching this. Go ahead and opt in if you haven't gotten yet a copy of that free ebook and the accompanying audio interview that goes with it. And in essence, what we're talking about here with speed marketing for mortgage loan officers is an actual proven seminar system, a kick butt, real world tested, tried and true by hundreds of loan officers, thousands of loan officers actually across the country in how to quickly and easily capture more real estate agents referrals or in relationships. So this is the first uh, s uh, video in this series and I'm just shooting them to you whenever I get time, content coming to you from the road. Right now I happen to be in Los Angeles attending an event and this is coming live from my hotel room here. So um, let's get into it, okay? First of all, the concept of capturing real estate agents, you got to remember this, okay? It's kind of like um, fishing. I remember I used to live in uh, the state of Maine years ago, and my family built this wonderful, beautiful um, house, about a 2,500 square foot house on about three acres of property. We are sitting um, waterfront on this uh, two mile long pond. We called it Tricky Pond. Um, and it was actually a great place to be at that time of my life. And one of the things we used to do, me and my friends that would come up from Boston, would be we would go fishing um, a couple times throughout the summer. You know, fishing, of course, a great excuse to get together with your buds and, you know, uh, have a few beers and hopefully uh, don't get disturbed by the fish. But it's interesting, uh, I remember uh, on one occasion where we were going out on a fishing excursion we just, and we were going to, you know, go down to the usual bait store and grab our... Um, usual bait and that would be of course you know night crawlers <clears throat> or giant worms call them night crawlers on the east coast because they're actually that big I mean some of them can be like this long you know anyway so we go down to the bait shop and uh, we meet with uh, the local guy there running the store his name's Vern I think and um, we're about to put the styrofoam cup on the counter to purchase our night crawlers to go out for a great day of fishing and you know have some fun and Vern just turns to us and says, you know, in this kind of a, he reminded me of one of the, the character from, remember Jaws, that movie Jaws, and Quinn, that guy Quinn who was like the shark hunter, and they went out to get Quinn as the only guy who could capture Jaws. Well, that's what this guy Vern reminded me of and looked like and spoke like, and he just kind of turned to us in this salty old voice and said, you boys want to get some real fish? And we're like, yeah, of course, that's why we're here. And he said, Forget them night crawlers. You want to get yourself some halgramites. And we're like, halgramites? What the heck are halgramites? Anyway, long story short, halgramites are these bugs with all these legs on them, and they actually have pincers on them, and some people call them toe pinchers because they actually do bite you, believe me. So anyway, Hal put these things out on the counter, opened it up quickly and showed us, and these things are just like running around in there and covered it back up, and we said, yeah, we'll take those. And so we went and we bought those algamites and then we went back to Tricky Pond and got in a boat and went out to our favorite fishing spot where we normally don't catch a lot of fish. Normally it's more about, you know, having a few beers and having some laughs and just having great times with, you know, your buds. But on this particular occasion, I was blown away. I mean, you've ever seen a piranha feeding frenzy? Maybe you've seen it on TV where, you know, something gets dropped in the water. It's just like, <laughs> this is exactly what happened when we put the halgramites on the end of our hooks and had to wear gloves to do it, but we put the halgramites on the end of our hooks, tossed it in, and I swear, it was instant. There was a feeding frenzy like I had never seen before in my life. And so needless to say, we were having a blast, you know what I mean? It was just so much fun. We caught a ton of fish, and more important than that, learned a valuable lesson. And that is this. First of all, if you want to capture real estate agents, you must fish where the agents are at. You've got to go where the fish are at. What pond are you fishing in? Are you even in the pond? Are you even fishing for agents? I will tell you this, you will not be successful capturing and converting real estate agents to relationships relying exclusively on technology. Things like Facebook, Twitter, social media, websites, all that stuff, those are wonderful tools. But in and of itself, not part of an overall strategy, ineffective, you'll be disappointed. Besides that, you and I both know real estate is a local, local business. It's done local, belly to belly, right? If you're not out in your local community with real estate agents, you're not in the game. 
you got to get out from behind your computer that's it get up walk around your computer get outside get in your car and here's what you do next ready you go down and you attend one of the weekly meetings that are happening at your local board of realtors these are the meetings called the broker previews or the caravan tours where real estate agents come in and pitch their listings they have for sale and pitch who they're looking for for buyers it's a great opportunity to get in the community engaged to get a vibe of what's going on with local real estate agents what are their needs and wants and desires and you know on future videos I'll tell you about how you can get up and actually uh, run a little commercial for yourself hand out some marketing flyers uh, capture some names and info start to create relationships from those sessions these are things that can and will happen for you if you're simply willing to get out there and start fishing for agents and we'll talk more in the next episode about fishing for the right bait but first homework lesson, first assignment for you is to go down and check out your local board of realtors. Find out what it means to become an affiliate member. How much does it cost? What are the benefits to being an affiliate member? Guess what? You probably get the list, entire roster of members of the local board. You probably get a lot of their contact, contact information. You'll definitely get access to people, relationships, and resources who can help you. Matter of fact, one of my uh, friends and clients, Brian Clute with Waterstone Mortgage, who had already been doing seminars for real estate agents told me by just doing that one thing, jo joining his local board of realtors, he took his um, monthly seminars from an average of 15 attendees to over 80 attendees. Just that one thing, fishing for agents in the right pond with the right bait. Get out there, check out your local board of realtors. We'll see you on the next one. By the way, if you like this comment and tips, leave your uh, comments below. Let me know what else you'd like to learn about how to capture and convert real estate agents. Thanks, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.